Welcome back, everybody. JP, all about comics. I was going to say comics and cold ones, but uh, that's not true. Not tonight. Tonight, we're going to do a live comic auction. So right now, I have uh, with me uh, Mr. Brandon Sawinski. How are you doing? I'm doing great, man. Um, hope everyone's doing well tonight. Uh, hopefully, here in a little bit, we'll have a few more people join us, um, possibly the great legend. Um who dads comics and movies possibly and uh see what are 19 i believe um as well as a possibility so we'll find out here in a little bit in the meantime we're just gonna try and have some fun see who's out there tonight i don't know if there's any uh shows that we're interrupting we'll find out here in a little bit in the meantime we're just gonna try and have some fun see who's out there tonight i don't know if there's any uh shows that we're interrupting We'll find out here in a little bit. In the meantime, we're just going to try and have some fun, see who's out there tonight. That's some wicked playback. <laughs> <All right. laughs> so, so far we got a poor man's comics in the chat. Hello, sir. So we'll kind of give it a few minutes here and see who all is going to pop in and visit with us tonight. Uh, hopefully there's a uh, an audience for this tonight for sure yeah the only other show we're on right now is lords of the long box oh gotcha well those uh those guys are certainly a, a bigger draw than i <laughs> so um looks like we got four viewers right now so that's uh, that's good we'll let it let it build and fester and simmer here for a moment i know miss hustle is doing her thing with instagram and sharing the stuff around so i appreciate that <laughs> poor man's comic you want to buy everything tonight i can make a deal for you <laughs> we'll do buy it now is only so uh, no auction tonight just buy it now <laughs> so what's been up to you brandon besides hunting for comics for you nothing <laughs> right i think i got lots of people looking for uh <laughs> Ghost Spider number one. <laughs> like, uh, I went to uh, pre order it, oh gosh, a couple weeks ago when I first saw the, uh, saw the book. And I was like, oh, it was like $79.99, right? I'm like, eh, it's a one in 100. It's a freaking, you know, it's not a first appearance or anything like that. It's just a cool cover. Um, so I held off, and then the next thing I know, it's like 179 And now, <laughs> Comics Exposure has it for 199, and I'm like, get out of here, man! It's 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 a cool book, but it's not gonna. That's not like it's not gonna sustain any kind of value like that. That doesn't make sense, right? So Tacoma, welcome to the P A R T Y. Hope that's on TV. <laughs> Where's the flowers? What flowers? A little early dinner and wine. 17. All right. Tacoma wins for seven. Actually, Tacoma, I am going to be selling this book tonight if you're interested. I know we uh, I posted on Instagram. And uh, anyways, I thought it was like a seven and a half. But after I started looking at it closer, it's probably closer to like a 6.5. But anyways, I'm going to throw that up here in a little bit once we start getting some people in here. Selling any Batwing? I'm not selling any Batwing. I don't own any Batwing to sell. <laughs> I don't know what Brandon has tonight. Maybe he's got some. I already sold all, all my wing. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, pretty ridiculous that uh, something like that. <laughs> I don't. You just don't know with the comic book world, do you? <laughs> yeah. How many copies did you end up getting? Uh, kind of quite a few. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I once I realized what they were going for, I was like, "Well, let me give it a shot. I'll see if I can flip them." So, I bought like five. Two, I'm I'm keeping for myself. Cover A and B, and then the other three, I I, I sold off. Sorry, wrong button. Can I ask you? Uh, how'd you make out? Good. Yeah, like sixty bucks each. Oh wow. What were they like? Seven. Bucks? I wasn't fortunate enough to be one of those people that sold them for like a hundred or more. 
because some of some of those prices got up there like some of the cover a's got up to like 110 I'm like, well, i don't i mean I don't, I don't get it man i really don't sometimes i just don't understand like i mean maybe maybe when the next batman movie comes out and they're like spec book of seeing batman's dick in a movie then then you'll wish you held on to those five yeah right <laughs> I don't know who they'll get to play that one since uh, Ben Affleck's out, it seems. So, um, you know, <laughs> Wang always sells. You know what? That's what I hear. I hear if you really want to make money, sell your Wang. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, goodness. <laughs> we'll give it maybe a few more minutes here, and then I'll, uh, I'll start unless you want to start. It doesn't matter to me. I don't care. I just got to plug my, my computer in real quick. What's that? I just got to plug my computer in real quick. Sure thing, man. Take your time. It looks like uh, we got seven viewers right now. <laughs> you know what, Tacoma? It's not too far from the truth. I'm going to be um, selling as much as you guys are willing to play with tonight because I... I'm just trying to like downsize the stuff that I need to downsize. I have stacks all around me. I got some slab books tonight. Um, Brandon's got some lots. Wolf Blitz, welcome. Good to see you in the chat, and thanks for coming over to the auction scene. Um, hopefully, we'll have some good stuff for you tonight and a few more sellers here in a little bit. Um, I kind of started this at a random time for myself. Normally, I'm a 9 p.m. Central kind of guy, but... I thought with an auction, I don't want to get super late because I know sometimes it tends to run a bit lengthy, especially when you get in three, four, five sellers, you know, and, you know, so we'll kind of lay down the typical uh, ground rules as, um, as always. So I'm just going to do like probably two minute rounds versus three, um, you know, we'll see how it goes from there. If, if, uh, since there's just the two of us, if we get three passes on an item, we'll just go to the next one um, because I don't think it's necessary to run the full time if no one's interested. So um, that also depends on how many folks show up tonight and turn out. So, you know, and how well my kids behave in the background. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, so uh, what do you got here? Mr. Gretzky wants to know if we have any older action comics. I do not. I do not. Um, all my stuff is going to be modern. Um, that's just kind of, that's just how my collection is, I guess. So that's all I have to offer. But give me just a moment here and I'll uh, be right back. So how do you guys, what do you guys really think of them? I'm just playing. He's a nice guy. <laughs> So I don't know who reads Thanos' legacy, but at the end, there's a character or a mention of a character called Endgame. And uh, Donny Cates was tweeting about it a little bit. Somebody asked, like, if there was any reason why he said or why he Endgame was put in Thanos' legacy. And he said, absolutely, there is or very or something like that. So I picked up two copies of these a day for like three bucks each. X Men Legacy 252, first appearance of Endgame. And then uh, 249, I believe, is the. F I guess it's like the first appearance, but it's more like a vision. Like somebody imagined them, I guess. But 252 is the actual first full appearance. And I'm back. Sorry. <laughs> what did I miss? People talking smack. 
<laughs> just kidding. Well, I didn't want to say anything, but <laughs> the truth comes out when you leave the room. <laughs> well, Hustle was talking mad smack. Who was Miss Hustle and Mr. Gretzky? They went off on you, man. They were having a roasting session. Oh my gosh, that's terrible. Miss Hustle always seems so nice. I guess uh, we'll see. <laughs> Well, I'm going to start off with a low book here, just so, you know, I know we don't have a whole lot of viewers right now, but I'm just, uh, I'm going to have a little fun tonight. We're going to start this off at $1. Yeah. You hear that? It's a 6.5 grade. It needs to be, definitely should use a press and a clean. Probably get it back up there to a seven and a half, eight. So shipping is going to be $5, of course, up to three books. And then we'll go from there. But um, definitely, definitely, we need some some work done on this. So we'll start this off at one dollar, and I'll set a timer ish. I'll just go ding ding ding. <laughs> so yeah, we'll see. We already got a few bids in. Look at there, Tacoma. He was just messing around. Give that guy another bottle of wine, and we're gonna be all right tonight. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, like I said, it definitely needs to be clean and pressed. I would recommend that if you're looking to, you know, boost the grade at all. Um, otherwise, if you want a good read, it's a silent issue. So good luck with that. <laughs> if you want to flip pages to an old GI Joe book, first appearance of Storm Shadow, I might add. So, um, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, he 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 up he upbitted himself. That's what he does. <laughs> Um, yes. Yeah, so, uh, and I did, uh, my, my PayPal email is in the description. So, and also throughout tonight, if you guys, um, if something doesn't sell or whatever, and you guys are interested in it, you can just email me, um, at my same email address. Um, but otherwise, yeah. So got a few more viewers trickling in now, so that's good. So give this about another minute. I think it's a five bucks right now. So. <laughs> oh, Wolf Blitz uh, went seven on you there, Tacoma. So, yeah, I got to love that. <laughs> so, uh, and we'll do like the, the soft thing, you know, kind of uh, once the timer is over, the proverbial timer. Well, uh, whoever folds, well, the first one that folds or whatever, you know, then we'll have the high bidder at that point. We'll win. Kind of like the Great Legends Lockchain, from my experience. That's the best way to do things. I've done a couple different styles, and that seems to be good. So if you guys are cool with that, that's what we'll do. Prowler, welcome. $8 to Tacoma. All right, so we're going to call the two minutes as now, and um, right now Tacoma has it at eight. Um, Wolf Blitz is at seven, so if you guys uh, want to get into a bidding war, that's cool, or if someone else wants to jump in, that's anyone's game right now until one of those guys folds. I'll keep holding it like this because it looks so pretty. Wolf Blitz, ten. Oh, now Tacoma's going to have to think about that second beer. <laughs> before he gets going. <laughs> so we're going to have a... I got all kinds of stuff tonight, guys. We got some slabs. We got some Mendoza covers. We got some signature series. So, and Brandon's going to have lots of good stuff as well. So, yeah. And like I said, we may have the Great Legend on later, C. Woodard, um, and possibly Hudat. If they have time, I know everyone's kind of a Wednesday night, kind of a weird time to do an auction, I suppose. But Tacoma Folds, so there you go, Wolf Blitz, $10. Congratulations on that. And make sure um, when you pay with PayPal, um, I would encourage you to do friends and family, um, at least for my guests. For me, it doesn't really matter one way or the other, but um, at least for Brandon, do that. And then make sure you put what you won and your uh, mailing address in inside the description so that I know and we know who we're sending stuff to 
and keep it under control as far as like being able to maintain who won what in my little world. All right, so whenever you're ready, sir, you're up, and I'll highlight you so they can see your stuff. How much is a priority envelope? <clears throat> a priority envelope? Yeah. yeah. Um, depends. They can be like uh, I've seen like some for like seven fifty five. All right. You know well, that's let's this lot off at eight bucks then. Eight dollars free shipping. It's gonna be a new Avengers lot. You got the first appearance of. Is it Maria Hill, I believe? Issue number four? No, uh, yeah, I heard something about Maria Hill. What is Maria Hill doing? She's gonna her character's gonna be in uh, the new Spider Man movie. Not as Spider Woman, but she's gonna be a shield agent. Okay. Well that's exciting. Yeah. Issue number seven. These are all covers with her on it. This one's a nice cover. That's Frank Cho as well. Fourteen. Yeah. And then 27, the first appearance of Hawkeye as Ronan. Nice. Where he's, I guess, unveiled. Okay. So, yeah, eight bucks, free shipping. So, eight dollars, free shipping. You got the. First of, is it the first appearance of Maria Hill? Yep. Nice. Who later becomes Spider Woman? Yes. And then Hawkeye is Ronan, and uh, he's going to be in the new Avengers movie as Ronan. I don't know if he's going to be, if they're going to call him Ronan, though. They'll probably still call him Hawkeye or Clint. Yeah, I suppose they don't want to confuse folks in the uh, <laughs> the non comic book watcher watchers, right? So yeah, right. That's a beautiful cover right there, man. Yeah, these are nice covers. This Frank Cho one's probably my favorite out of all four, though. Yeah, I have a copy of that myself. I'm debating on uh, Frank Cho is going to be at the uh, the Winter Dallas convention, so. Our uh, comic book brother in the community, Mark Walters, I don't know if he's been on in a while, but uh, that's his show, and he got Frank Joe to come out. So The condition, issue 27 is probably fine plus near mint. They're all probably fine plus near mint. There's no creases. Issue number four has a couple, like three little ones. That barely break cover. That's probably the worst condition out of all of them, though. All the rest of them are fine. Really clean. Issue 27 is really white, besides, like, all the art that's on it. There's, like, a lot of little dots and stuff. I don't know if you guys can see it or have seen the cover before, but that's supposed to be there. And the starting bid is eight dollars with free shipping, guys. Or we get three passes, we can move on. We'll see here. So we got Maria Hill and Ronan. Think they'll do a Spider Woman movie at some point? Probably down the road. Kind of have to if it keeps going well, right? I mean, they have so many characters they can do movies with. Yeah, I mean, with the uh, with them buying or getting back X Men and Fantastic Four, Deadpool, it's probably only going to make it longer before we see her as Spider Woman or have her own solo. She might end up. I mean, if they do a new Avengers movie, you might see her. Sure, I think. Uh... If they ever get that Black Widow movie made, and depending on how successful that movie is, I think you'll start seeing a lot more solo films from ladies. But we'll see. We got one pass. I would like to see uh, Jane Foster's store. 
I know there's not a lot of people that like Natalie Portman, but I think she'd make a good one. It'd be nothing. Uh, it'd be fun, you know. If nothing else. I mean, it's a kind of a, a sad story, and uh, you know, if you want to tug on the heartstrings, that'd be a way to do it. <laughs> but all right, people are saying they already got them. All right, we can move on. All right. Oh, goodness, you want me to go next? Do you want to go again? You can go. Are you sure about that? Are you sure about that? Well, gosh, let's see here. You guys want to see a slab? I have a slab I'm going to put up tonight and see if you guys are interested. We'll start it off at uh, $25. That's basically the cost of getting it slabbed. So it's a signature series, 9.4. Emma Frost, number one, signed by Greg Horn. So if you guys see that, shipping is going to be, um, priority is thirteen sixty five for a slab. Um, doesn't matter how many of them you get. Oh, yeah, let me get the camera. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, all right, is that better? So we got the Emma Frost, number one, Greg Horn cover, signed by Greg Horn, right there. CBCS 9.4 starting starting bid uh, start I'll open this up at 25 bucks so shipping is 1365 <laughs> yeah sorry about that I was uh, I'm, I'm not used to doing this multiple camera angle thing you know so please forget is that better the bag layer, can't really tell on my end. Well, hmm. I'll start the timer at two minutes and uh, go from there. And like I said, if something, uh, <laughs> Miss Hustle said, ah, I'll be right back. And if, if, like I said, if you guys aren't interested, just say pass, and um, we'll move on to the next lot. Um, I just got a message from Hudat. He will not be joining us tonight, unfortunately, so that's okay. Um, but, yeah. Hey, what's up, Niobe? It's so tempting, the poor man's comic, because she's a temptress. <laughs> or maybe it's the Greg Horn signature. I'm not really sure. <laughs> it's a beautiful cover. I love all the Emma Frost covers he did. And then around the same time, he was doing those uh, Mary Jane covers, like the one that got banned and whatnot. So, Which, I mean, considering nowadays, it's not even close to being something that should be banned, the stuff that we get to see now. Like all these Mendoza covers, I'm just waiting. Oh. Emma, yeah, $25 plus the shipping, which uh, for priority, which in the States is $13.65 for a priority box. To Canada, it's like $486, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> for priority. First class is uh, 20 bucks, so yeah. All right, well, if we have no takers, no interest people, then we'll move on to the next thing. And then by the end of this night, we'll just recycle and go back through. <laughs> just kidding. All right. Well, I'll assume that no one's interested. If uh, you guys decide or someone sees this later and wants to take a stab at it, um, hit me up on the email. Um, I really didn't know what kind of turnout we would have tonight on a Wednesday, but uh, yeah. Well, what do you got, Brandon? You want to try and sell something? <laughs> Yeah, up next I have this uh, her uh, this Chihuahua miniature pincher mix. Oh, nice! <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> it reminds me yeah. like the, the days of selling baseball cards with game used jerseys and <laughs> you got a <laughs> house trained dog. <laughs> yeah. All right, we got another small lot, another four books. We'll do the same thing eight dollars free shipping. We have Web of Spider Man 125. Shout out to the Comic Colics, they're big on this cover. Uh, first appearance of Phil Urich, I believe. New Mutant, second print, 87. Um, first appearance of Cable. Excalibur, 86, I believe. Yeah, first appearance of Peter Wisdom. And then we got Web of Spider Man number one. And all of these are in. Very fine plus. Except for this Excalibur, I'd say probably say fine. It has a couple little dings up here. And that's the uh, the first appearance of Peter? Yep. From uh, the Deadpool movie, I believe. Yeah, what was Spider-Man number one? One twenty-five and Newton's eighty-seven. And opening, what did you say? Opening bid was uh, eight dollars free shipping. Eight dollars free shipping. There we go. Nice cover, bro. I put an eight-dollar bid in on that. Shipping to Canada, man. Um, I just shipped some books up to Four Way Flasher, and that cost me uh, seventeen dollars and some change, and that was for three or four books. So keep that in mind, um, and that's for like the basic, whatever you guys call it. We call it first class, but up there it's probably like post or something like that. Um, <laughs> you did get offered a dollar for the dog, so uh, there's that. <laughs> By two people, mind you. <laughs> so right now we're sitting at uh, $8 to nice cover bro. With free shipping. We're basically giving those away. Yeah. Man, that's too nice. I like that web of Spider-Man. Yeah, that book can get up to 20 bucks sometimes. I just uh, actually picked up that uh, book right there you're showing, the Spider Gwen, the one with uh, Gwen Stacy on the cover, because I need it for my Gwen Stacy collection. Oh, okay. It's nice. nice. All right, I'm going to set the timer now. Sorry, a little behind on the timer. Which, hey, it's just me and you. It's not a big deal. <laughs> we'll sit here and let them think on it for about half an hour. <laughs> 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 yeah, it sucks up there uh, trying to ship to Canada, man. I'm sorry. Um, just doesn't really make sense to me sometimes. It'd be different if we were like, they don't even have to cross the pond to get there, you know? <laughs> it's just there. <laughs> it's a longer drive, I suppose. Which Perillo was that, sir? <laughs> I'm surprised not more people are interested in the Web of Spider-Man one. Well, I'm sure it's just we you know, are not having a whole lot of uh, viewership right now, so, you know. <laughs> I got lots of things ready for tonight. Just got to get more people in here. Yeah, that web number one, man, that's uh that's worth the eight dollars for sure.
Yeah, it is. It's an early appearance. I don't know much about the second print of Cable. I don't know much about it either, but I like the fact they had a gold background. It was different than the orange and red. Well, Roman Curtis popped in with the $10 bid. What? Welcome, Roman. So we're looking at, uh, excuse me, it's free shipping on this lot, just so you guys know. So uh, between uh, Nice Cover, who is it? Nice Cover Bro? Yes, he's at $11, and Roman Curtis is at 10 So there you go. He is doing free shipping for you guys, so that's cool. And then... Uh, as long as it's in the U.S., it's free shipping. Canada. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You're going a whole ship into Canada. We know this. <laughs> yeah, actually, the first auction I did was with Legend, and I'm pretty confident that was the one where I ended up shipping to Canada, and I, I broke even. No, I lost money because I, I had a paper <laughs> books too. So, <laughs> like, whoops. Twelve dollars to Tacoma. All right, now we get some liveliness in this auction. You guys spread the word. Let people know we have an auction going on. I, uh, I don't do them very often on this channel. Um, I'd rather stick with comics and cold ones. But uh, tonight, I wanted to do a little something different for the community. So I jumped on. I, I did a little live live haul on uh, Monday night during halftime, and I got some people during that. So I thought about doing a halftime and like a halftime segment. During Monday nights. All right, nice cover, bro. At thirteen, so we'll call the we'll call the two minutes now. Um, so it's anyone's game. Um, so right now it's uh, nice cover, bro. At thirteen, Tacoma at twelve. Um, so if either one of you guys fold, it'll be the end of that. <laughs> yeah, Roman, that's what happens, man. You uh, you show up to the party and everyone's interested. So. <laughs> Come stay a while. <laughs> All right, fourteen to to Tacoma. Dang, maybe I should be drinking tonight instead of this bottle of water. I'm not sure what happened to Miss Hustle. I think she quit on me. <laughs> maybe she went to hustle up some more viewers. That's probably what she's doing. Yeah. 15 to nice cover bro look at you guys duke it out and there you have it nice cover bro wins it with $15 all right Tacoma is out do you have my PayPal in the chat but or I don't have you go ahead and put it in there all right. um, I couldn't remember if you want to use the one you sent me or not so yeah it'd be that one <laughs> I'm gonna put it in the chat yeah, go ahead. I apologize. Um, Mr. D, what's going on? Yeah, I picked a apparently I picked a rough night for a uh, viewership for an auction. They got they said uh, Lords of the Loan Box and then Unpressable Defects. So yeah, <laughs> my bad for not researching Wednesday night. <laughs> It'll be good for. Uh, <laughs> Good for you all bidding since uh, you won't have any competition tonight, apparently. <laughs> Maybe I should shut down the auction and we'll just all go watch uh, <laughs> Lords of the Long Box and then Impressible Defects. <laughs> Tacoma, I'll give you a shot at a nice uh, 9.4 right here. Emma Frost, signed by Greg Horn. 25 bucks. Come on. Opening bid. I've already had this up once, so I'm just kidding. I mean, I'm not kidding if you guys are interested, but um, anyways, that's what's going on. Yeah, exactly. I have no... Uh, I appreciate any amount of audience that I get on this channel, so... Um, yeah, so what do I have next? 
I have a small little lot. <laughs> uh, did you put the PayPal? I think he was going to put it in the chat. I did. Um, sometimes people can't see it if they if they don't have the chat set up for live chat. Well, I can uh, see if I can find it quick. Uh, who all's auctioning tonight? Right now, it's just myself and Brandon Sawinski, but um, Great Legend may be on here in a little bit when he gets off work. Um, Seawater19 might join us if he has the ability to. Um, yeah, so I had some cancellations and stuff, so it's kind of just myself and Brandon, and I had already committed to this time frame and date, so... Um, you know, we'll go from there. But um, let's see. What's your PayPal? I'll just type it in the chat. It's check dot yes, twenty twelve at gmail dot com. Twenty You know, it's kind of funny last week when we had Colin Bunn on the show and he started pointing out how no one uses their real name on here. And I never really thought about that before. But then to me, it was always kind of odd. Like when I would see your name as Brandon Stowinski, I'm like, how unoriginal. Just use your real name. <laughs> you know, then you see a few other people, Jason Smith, for example. Um, I just It just cracked me up that here I'm thinking people that use their real name is weird and he's like the other way. So... I, I thought YouTube was all about your cool, clever ideas of names that you could come up with. So, <laughs> all right. So I put Brandon's um, PayPal email in the chat there. Check dot yes twenty twelve at gmail dot com. It was fifteen dollars. Um, what the legend is now? I don't know. Uh, Jason Smith's name is not Mailman. I think that's his middle name. It's Jason Mailman Smith, if I'm not mistaken. If I remember correct from the postcard he sent me. <laughs> Comic book overload tonight? Yeah, I think so, man. I, uh... <laughs> so my next lot, it uh, looks like Tacoma already put in a blind bid of $5, <laughs> so <laughs> he might win. I'm going to do a quick, it's a small little like uh, Ms. Marvel, Captain Marvel lot. It's a four book lot. Um, you got, uh, this one is probably not the greatest, probably about an 8.0. I'm just got a couple spine ticks, but it's Miss Marvel one shot, the, the binary thing. I'm just got a couple spine ticks, but probably about an 8.0, eight and a half, maybe, maybe baby. Um, also have the infinity countdown, Captain Marvel number one. You're going to get the Infinity Countdown variant cover number one, the Addy Granoff cover. And uh, I'm going to start this off at $5, $5 shipping. And then you get Ms. Marvel 41. Have some kind of tie in, I'm sure, with the crease. And she's stepping on her neck. What, 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 what? Um, so, yeah, we'll start this off at $5 opening bid, which I guess. Tacoma already has the $5 opening bid since he's blind bidding here. Um, $5 shipping uh, if you guys are interested. Roman Curtis is at 5 So I don't know if uh, Tacoma was serious or not about his $5 blind bid. But that's between you two. <laughs> Roman at 6 <laughs> There you go. Tacoma was serious. So now Roman is at 6 so I'll show the books one more time. <laughs> um, this is Marvel one shot. Now we're at seven dollars to Tacoma, and I'll start my timer now. Sorry. Eight dollars to Roman. Five dollars shipping. I love this Addy Granoff cover. It's pretty freaking underrated. Nine dollars to Tacoma. $10 to Roman. 
I like this too. I don't know who the artist is on this cover. I need to do a little more research on it, but I like the art style. It's almost got a little bit of an anime feel to it. Or manga. <laughs> and there you go. Roman Curtis. Ten dollars. Uh, Tacoma was serious and then he folded, so he wasn't that serious. <laughs> um anyway, so ten dollars plus five dollars shipping. My PayPal address is in the description. Or I can put it in the chat if you want, Roman. You probably know it by heart. We've done a few transactions in the past. So. so congratulations on that win there for you, sir. Well, we got a few more viewers coming in, so let's see if we can uh, amp up the next round of auctions here. So... What does Brandon Stowinski have on the table tonight? All right. This is going to be another four-book lot. We're going to do $8 free shipping. But Wonder Woman 105, the first appearance of this girl um, who becomes – who does she become? Power Girl or somebody? I don't know. I believe. If somebody can help me out in the chat, I appreciate it. But I know that's a small first appearance. We're going to throw in Superman Man of Steel number 18. First full appearance of Doomsday. This one is a first print. Wonder Girl. Wonder Girl, thank you. There you go. Thank you, Poor Man's Comics. We're going to throw in this Batman number 55. Came out the same day as uh, Batman Damned, but there's something that happened in this on the very last page that I think is going to... If they do it right, I think it'll be a really good story going forward. You said oh, eight dollars is opening bid. Eight dollars opening bid, free shipping. Deathstroke thirty-two. Oh, nice. Is that Matina again. Yep. All right. So book DC lot. DC lot. Four books. Eight dollars. Free shipping. And nice cover, bro. Has started the first blood. Eight dollars. Nice cover, bro. There we go. So, yeah, Wonder Woman 105. Wonder Girl. She becomes Swamp Thing. Wouldn't that be funny? Tacoma, are you drunk? <laughs> Superman, Man of Steel, 18. First full of Doomsday. Then you got the two Matina covers. Does anyone have a Red Hood 25? Is that like the Matina? The, is it the Matina cover? That's extremely hard to find. Or is that something different? So right now it's eight dollars to nice cover, bro. This is a great red cover. It is, man. He's been killing those covers. I was so excited when I got that uh, the split one with Robin and Deathstroke or whatever, and then it was crushed in the mail, so it was really sad. Why you give you buy it from me, man? What's that? So that's why you need to buy it from me. <laughs> oh, I know, right? Uh, going forward, I have to start. I forget. I, the... <laughs> I get my comics every Wednesday, so if you let me know ahead of time, I could probably pick them up. Yeah, I will. Nice cover, bro. Wants to know, did you get his previous payment? Previous what? His previous payment a few months ago. Oh, I have not checked. Um, I'll check in a minute here. Hey, the great legend will be on in 10 minutes, folks. <laughs> Tacoma, you got to drive the kids home so he can't be drunk. That is a shame. Let the kid drive, bro. Let the kid drive. Let's see here. Pope Cerebus the first is in. Uh, was it like uh, Deathstroke 25? Is that a recent issue? Which one did you just show? Is that 26? I show 32. 32. I think you just got paid. Or eBay. Well, that was the eBay probably telling me I missed out on an auction. <laughs> so did you do you know if uh, you got his last payment? I'm typing it in right now. Oh, okay. Yep. Got it. 
And you got your address. Sweet. All right, so nice cover row. He did, in fact, get your payment. After this, go check out Capital JB Comics. He's doing a donate-based contest. You could win a 9.8 X-Men Blue, Hans variant, or a new Wolverine 9.8, pending your donation amount. Well, that's cool. What's the donation going for? I'm just curious. So, uh... All right, right now we got a few more viewers popping in, so let's see some more bidding, folks. So you got it right now. It's just eight dollars to uh, nice cover bro, which, to be honest, the timer has been gone for a while. But <laughs> Wait, nice cover bro, he just won the last lot too, didn't he? He did indeed. All right, man, I'll I'll just do combined shipping. Well, since you're free shipping, yeah, I suppose. <laughs> 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 How nice of you. <laughs> Just, just for you. <laughs> All right. So if no one, no one else. Uh, so kidney disease research. Okay, that's cool. I can support that. <laughs> My uh, ex mother in law just got diagnosed with uh, some issues as well. So uh, yeah, I can totally get behind that. All right. So no one else is bidding, man. So it looks like Nice Cover Bro is going to win that lot. All right. <laughs> hmm. All right, so you already have his PayPal, so you guys can figure that out. Um, the shipping is obviously figured out. Let's see here. What do we want to see next? Is there any Mendoza fans in the house? Because I got this nice Mendoza book I'd love to uh, part ways with tonight. It's a, it's a CBCS. It's a risque cover, so little kids, cover your eyes. I'll try and cover the boobies for you. This is going to be Zombie Tramp Origins, number one, collector edition, CBCS 9.4, signed by Dan Mendoza, right underneath the breast. You see the signature right there. You see the grade right there. You see the ladies. And the ladies right there. So we'll start this out at thirty dollars with thirteen sixty five shipping. If anyone is interested, that is the opening bid. So if you like zombie tramp, you like signature series, you like chicks with horns, all those things sound great. Well hello amazing Murphinator, welcome. You have anything you want to sell? You can certainly jump on. Archangel, welcome. How much? Thirty dollars opening bid. Uh, Thirteen sixty-five shipping. So that is basically a free book because the slab alone is thirty bucks. So there's that. <laughs> exactly. I love chicks with horns. I have some. Other Mendoza stuff, if you guys are interested. Um, but this is the only slab Mendoza that I have to offer tonight. So, yeah. Mr. D, I'm more likely to be inclined to agree with you than, uh, you know. <laughs> As opposed to not. So if no one's interested, just say pass. And we will pass on to something else. We pass this thing on to eBay or Facebook or Instagram or wherever the heck you want to sell comics these days because you can sell them darn near anywhere. <laughs> All right, there's one pass. You got stuff to sell you want to jump on? I can send you the link if you want to jump on. If you're serious, just let me know. All right. Well, we got one pass. So if anyone uh, sees this on the rewind or comes in later, I do have a couple slab books tonight that are for sale. They're both a 9.4. Um, pass the duchy on the left-hand side. <laughs> Uh, 
just have Red Hood 25. All right, you get your next lot ready. I'm going to send the link over to Archangel so he can jump on with us. Give me a moment. Let me know when you're ready. I have one, though. Okay. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 I'll just sing for the moment. All right, Mr. Angel, sent you the link on Facebook. So there you go. Come join us. Come sell your soul. I mean, sell your comics. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> Brandon and I will hang out. White Well Comics, what's going on? We've got a few more people out there watching tonight. I appreciate it. Well, that was fast. He's like, yeah, I just got these comics right here in my backpack. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm sideways. Turn. 23 fames. I'm here for the auction. Well, perfect. Welcome for the auction. We're just getting situated here. Brandon's going to be up next selling a lot. Um, got our friend Archangel going to be selling some stuff here. If he can figure out technical issues. Somebody... Paid forty dollars for Batman Damned. Was that a good price? I don't know. It's about uh, ten bucks an inch, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I see what you did there. Yeah, yeah. I got jokes all night. If you guys give me a chance, <laughs> you'll be here all night, huh? <laughs> and for those that are just joining, I do have a couple slab books. So I'm just gonna show um, really quick while they're getting situated here. Um, this one is twenty-five dollars, thirteen sixty-five shipping. This one is thirty dollars, thirteen sixty-five shipping. Um, now both of them are nine point four signature series. One signed by uh, Dan Mendoza, and the other one signed by Greg Horn. But uh, OMG, Chris, welcome. Comics addiction, welcome. How's everyone doing tonight? Buddha, there he is. He's just on the other side of the camera apparently tonight. So. <laughs> Brandon, you're up, man. If you want to go ahead while uh, while the other Brandon's getting situated. Yeah. What is it with Popes and Brandons and shit like that on my show? <laughs> so it's going to be the same thing. Eight dollars free shipping. So am I sideways or? You yeah, you are. Sideways? Fuck. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, but I want it to be this way. <laughs> uh, on your are are you, are you on your phone? Yeah, how do I do it? Just like there that. A rotation. When you open up your screen and you mm -hmm. swipe down, there should be a rotation button. You might have that off. Hang on. Fuck. <laughs> well, we appreciate the support, guys. Um, see the viewers, viewers just jumped up about 10, 10 extra viewers than we had earlier. So I blame that on uh, you guys being awesome. All right, I'm gonna jump back on. Maybe to work then. You're good right there. Yeah, but my stand won't go that uh, way. I had that happen to me once on Facebook. What the hell? All right, I'll jump back on. All right, ready? Yeah, you're good, man. Okay. Um, a Greg Horn cover, Miss Marvel, number twenty-seven. And then here is the thing, number 35. This is a new Miss Marvel. What's her name? Sharon Ventura as Miss Marvel. So another spec book for you. It's actually a pretty cool cover, though. Look at those boots. <laughs> we got Incredible Hawk 441. 
I love that cover. Yeah. What are you Pulp Fiction fans out there? My buddy uh, Pope Grimey gifted me two of those, man. The variant and the regular. Nice. There's one with a different price. Hey, weird. <laughs> what is that? G.I. Joe number 21. Not, I mean, this is a, it's a mid-grade copy. There's a lot of probably like seven, eight color-breaking ticks over here. And then some bends down here in the corner. I don't know if you can see those. Hmm. I do see them. Well, eight dollars free shipping. All right, we're up to ten dollars now with Tacoma taking the lead over a nice cover, bro. I do love that. cover, bro. The more the more you win, the more money I save. <laughs> <laughs> All in one box. <laughs> Greg Horn. That's a gorgeous Greg Horn cover. It really is, man. I love his Miss Marvel stuff. The thing. New Miss Marvel. Eleven dollars, a nice cover, bro. The Incredible Hawk, four forty-one. This is a gorgeous cover. This is a cool cover. I have a couple of these. There's certain books that if I find for dirt cheap, I always buy them, no matter what, no matter how many issues I have. The GI one. What $12. was that? Twelve dollars to, to Tacoma. Like this GI Joe cover. Amazing Spider-Man, I think it's like 265 or 365, the first uh, Spider-Man 2099. I always pick that one up. I always pick this cover up. What's the condition on the Hulk? Uh, probably fine. There's a little wear and tear on the spine. Not horrible, but you can tell it's been read through a couple times. Here, I'll take it out of the package for you. <laughs> well, that's nice of you, Tacoma. Look at you, already uh, wheeling and dealing on comics you don't even own. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Was he trying to buy from me and flip it in the chat? <laughs> <laughs> no. No, just uh, Pope Cerberus was wanting the Hulk, the Hulk book only. So, <laughs> just, uh, let's see. Got about one minute left on this one, so uh, right now it's Tacoma at twelve dollars and Nice Cover Bro at eleven. I feel like you guys have been duking it out the majority of this evening so far. They're loving it. They're like, oh, no competition. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this isn't like one of those legend auctions where you get all kinds of stuff in there. All kinds of folks. I'm just a baby channel. <laughs> you're getting up there, man. You do, but you're getting artists on there. Like, right? <laughs> you got Cullen Bunn, bro. Like, that's kind of a big deal. Yeah, Cullen Bunn. He was, uh, it was nice to have him on. He was an interesting guy. I'm reading a couple of his books. Bone Parish, Cold Spots. Um, something else too. This Marvel. My wife actually might be mad that I'm selling this book. She really likes this cover. What's the condition on that one? This one's probably near mint. Fine plus. I just saw a little dirt. A little dirt right next to her hair. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you for the kind words. <laughs> So, nice cover, bro. Is thirteen dollars now? So it's between him and Tacoma. And then this, the thing number thirty-five. This is one of my spec books. Something I think you never know if they name drop her or she might show up in the Miss Marvel movie. They have Monica Rimbo's mom in there after all. <laughs> Fourteen to Tacoma. But this one's in fine plus, almost near mint. That's a nice looking book. Too. It's just been read through a couple times there's like I don't know if you can see it with the glare there's like two non-color breaking spine ticks 15 dollars to a nice cover bro any key issues tonight from 23 frames um gosh I have a few variants and 
stuff like that. I don't know if I have any real keys. I'm just, uh, well, there you go, Archangel, and he'll, uh, he'll answer you. Big E's, speaking of Big E's, he's going to be live on Comics and Cold Ones tomorrow night with us. What? Yeah, so uh, I'm very excited to have him on. A little East Coast flavor for my Midwest life. Oh, wait, I'm in the South now. Damn it, that didn't work. <laughs> All right, so Tacoma Folds, so nice cover bro, wins for $15. Man, you might as well just uh, keep that PayPal open to Brandon all night. <laughs> sin, sin, sin. What else you need, nice cover bro? All right, Pope Cerebus is really wanting that uh, Red Hood 25 cover B if anyone's got one. I don't even know what it looks like, man. I should look it up. I think it's the one with... Uh... Uh, I think Red Hood's head in somebody's hand, I believe. I can't remember who. So, yeah, I mean, uh, I wasn't going to gonna plug tomorrow night's show. I just want to focus on the auction tonight. But, yeah, 9 p.m. Central tomorrow night, Comics and Cold Ones, myself, Pope Grammy, and Biggie's Comics from the New York Warriors. Isn't it? Uh, Mr. Archangel, are you ready to sell something? Yep. Yep. Ready. You're so you're up next. Let me highlight you. We are joined briefly here. I see the great legend has popped in. Is this the one they're talking about? Pope Cerebus, is that the number 25? Is that number 25? No, this is 26. That's 26. This is the one with him holding Red Hood's hand. It's like his uh, new outfit. Is 25 the one with Robin? I have no idea. That's the one I was thinking of. But I guess that's not the right one. Well, if it's the one with the split face of Robin and Deathstroke, is that oh. the one? Well, I don't know. I don't know. All right, well, you're up, sir. You're up to sell something. Yep. Is that, is that sunshine behind you? I uh, know. That's just so have some backlight okay uh, so it would be Dude, we live in the same state and i don't know how you got sun and I <laughs> <laughs> i'm only an hour away from you right i uh i have a direct line with god so i just say you know son he's like okay there's some sun now i got a adam hughes wonder one one lot uh so we'll start this at a dollar and seven dollar shipping so there there is 169 uh, 174. Mr. D, 77. Oops, sorry. Uh, 187. 193. 194. 195 and one of my favorites with flash well, that's a 97 cool yeah so yeah dollar start and go for it seven dollar shipping all right one dollar nice cover bro there's Darth Lucian 88 I knew he'd be around somewhere tonight he's at two dollars Five dollars, nice cover, bro. I'll go ahead and start my two-minute timer, just so you guys know it's what we're doing. We got six dollars to Darth Lucian. Sorry, Pope Service, he got it in before you, at least on my end. So that's how I see it. Bruce, welcome. We're having a live auction tonight. Right now, you have a nice Adam Hughes lot from Mr. Archangel. Ten dollars to Wolf Blitz. Eleven to Darth Lucian. <laughs> Man, I think everyone in this chat is always buying comics there, Mr. Twenty Three Fram Fames. All of us. All of us are guilty. <laughs>
Got about a minute, 20 seconds left on this one. Darth Lucian's at $11 with $7 shipping. Not sure what happened to Miss Hustle, man. She uh, she was here earlier moderating. Twelve to Wolf Blitz. Thirteen back to Darth Lucian. And I'm gonna check your lag there. Nice cover, bro. Oh, there you go. $14 a nice cover, bro. What's the conditions on the book, Poke Service wants to know, Brandon? Um, I would say they're all 9092 gradish. Maybe higher, but I'm not going to go any higher than that. Nerd Vision tonight, it's called All About Comics Live Auction. Saturday night will be the Legends Live Auction. Saturday night, uh, the 6th of uh, October. Yeah. All right, so right now it's uh, between Nice Cover Bro. Oh, Pope Cerebus just put his name in the mix. He's at 16. So Darth, Pope, and Nice Cover Bro. It's all between you three right now. Um, Darth Lucian has folded. So Pope Cerebus wins at sixteen dollars. Nice. I think. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, Darth Lucian was second. But yes. <laughs> Pope Cerebus for the win. So you wanna? What's your? You wanna put your email in the chat or your? Yeah, I'll, I'll do it in the chat. Okay. So, uh, Legend, welcome, welcome to the auction. Good to see you. Yeah. Good to have you. Good to be here, man, JP, on All About Comics Live Auction. Good yeah, don't times. Do these, don't do these very often. Every hey, once in a while. Auctions are where it's at, man. <laughs> I got a good one, man. Are you ready for me to go up? Yeah, absolutely. If you're ready, man. All don't right, wait. man. Let me show you all what I got for you. This package is going to be called the 90s package, okay? The 90s freaking package. Now, these books I'm going to show you, they're not 9.8s by any means, but they're awesome books in their own right. And here's what we got. I'm going to do it like this. Let's see, because I got to bag another book. But anyway, but let me show you what you get. $5 right here. $5 free shipping. Pip number one by Image Comics. Everyone loves this book. And if you get it to $5, I'll throw in two more books. So get it to $5, and I'll show you two more 90s comic books, man. Free shipping, too. So they can, you can go ahead and start the timer. So pit number one. And if you bid five, I'll throw in the other two books, man. Five bucks free shipping. And this will give me the lag will give me enough time to uh, bag and board this other book. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man, I like I like I like doing this, man. JP, you got to have more auctions, dude. <laughs> you know, you can't beat a good auction. I know Roman Curtis agrees. He loves him some auctions. Yeah, I like to, I like to partake on All as right. well. Whitewell Comics put the five dollars down. Yo, it did. Whitewell, let me show you. I mean, timer's still going, everybody. I'm going to show you the next two books for this three book 90s lot all right just putting the bag and board on that one right now so the other books you're gonna get let me put some tape on this before the two minutes goes out because we never know we may have someone that really wants wants this book all right, everyone's kind of waiting and waiting now i bought these books off the rack the pit is a nine four or higher these other two are probably eight oh and higher but here's the other two books. You get the pit from the 90s. And these that I got directly off the rack. Sports Superstars Issue 3 and Issue 5. Issue 3, the story. 
of Magic Johnson right there, baby. So if you're a sports fan, you're going to love these next two books. And they're sports superstars, and they had some tragedy in the 90s. Of course, at the end of this issue, you find out he has to make the call to Larry and Michael Jordan and talk, tell him, oh, I got HIV positive, I can't play football or basketball anymore. Then the next one you got, he, he had to quit in the 90s for a different reason. Too many ladies. Issue five, Mike Tyson, baby. Mike Tyson. So these are your next two books. And, you know, these are going to go to Whitewell Comics if we don't have any more bids, man. But this is a cool series. The interiors of these are black and white, but they're like really cool biography comics. It's just this guy got AIDS at the end. This guy went to jail for doing some women. $6. Poor man's comics, $6. So, hey, looks like we're going to be going into over time. <laughs> Damn, and I've had these books up in the closet, like on the very top. Legend, aren't you in Texas? Hell yeah. <laughs> Brandon, where are you from? Michigan. Archangel, where are you from? Texas. Me and, me and him live in the same town. It's kind of <laughs> funny. And JP, you're just over there a little bit, what, east? Yes, sir. Yeah, I mean, so Brandon, you the odd man. Out. <laughs> I love me some Stawinski, though. All right, so I guess, what do you think? Is the timer over? Because I don't, I ain't got a timer. Yeah, I've been doing a loose timer, you know, when it was just Brandon and I. I didn't really have to worry about a timer. <laughs> All right, Whitewell. Whitewell, do you want to go seven? Or does a poor man comics win the 90s pack for six? And free shipping, too. So, really cool. I mean, these are fun, you know, just to, to look at these. And these are, I mean, these books, you may, you may never see this. This um, publishing company was called Revolutionary Comics. And they were pretty big in the 90s for a while. I mean, they always, each month, you know, they had a new special. All right, so Whitewell's like, no thanks. So a poor man's comics, $6. And a poor man's comics, I will put my email in the chat. So $6, friends and family. And thanks, JP. Kick ass, man. I sold something. Yeah. <laughs> Now let's see how much uh, profit you made on that sale. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and these, by the way, uh, poor man, it's going to be getting shipped first class. I'm going to try first class, but if first class is a little too expensive, we got to go. Well, no, I got to go first class because these are comic books. I can't do media. I'll do media mail on some other stuff, but yep, these are coming to you first class. <laughs> never seen them before. So yeah, very rare. I mean, I've never seen them before either i've just seen him in my closet for too long so. <laughs> you know, have people like uh digging through back issue pens now looking trying to them. find those revolutionary it's revolutionary comics oh yeah look at this if you look real close it says um unauthorized and proud of it <laughs> classic <laughs> so just i'm pretty sure they did a mick jagger comic as well back in the back in the day oh yeah like a superstars thing yeah, it's kind of very similar to that. It was like the '90s stuff, and uh, it was it was kind of uh, interesting because Mick Jagger—I uh, don't know which wife it was. She used to come here to my hometown to buy quilts from the quilt store, mm -hmm. and that was across the street from the comic store. And he went in and signed all their Mick Jagger comics for him, just because he was nice like that. So. The, uh, one of his uh, wives uh, was a, uh, a model that played in the original 1989 Tim Burton Batman movie as Jack Napier's, well, actually, it was Jack Palance's love interest until Jack Napier or Jack Nicholson came in and took over this blonde girl. And she got kind of roughed up, though, at the end, I think. Can't remember her name, though. Uh, All right. So there you Kim go. Basinger? Kim Basinger? No, it wasn't Kim Basinger. It was this other uh, blonde that was in the movie that was the. Uh, kind of the romantic interest of the mafia boss guy oh Bian okay. bianca's who murph says jerry oh. hall that was her her name was jerry, jerry. hall pope serbs that would have been a good trivia question that, <laughs> that was the the lady that he was married to that bought the quilts oh okay cool yeah, so she would always well she was good looking yeah i mean i well, mick jagger you ain't gonna marry some ugly person probably <laughs> right <laughs> well i'm gonna let uh brandon you brandon Stowinski, you ready to go again buddy yeah, um, I'll throw up a, a buy it now real quick, and I have an auction too. But we'll say uh, we'll try it at sixty, sixty dollars. Buy it now. We have uh, Matina Francesco Matina Venomized Number One. I believe this one was limited to like three thousand copies, if I'm not 
mistaken. And we have the Del Auto 1 in 25 Venomized number one. So 60 bucks buy it now for these two. All right, 60 bucks. 60 bucks, that's free shipping. Francesca Papina and Gabriel Del Auto. All right. So buy it now if anyone's interested. $60. Uh, free shipping. Otherwise, I have a $8 free shipping for book lot. Adam Hughes. We have Dr. Manhattan. Number one. This book is pretty hard to find. Then we have a couple Catwoman. Catwoman 57. And Catwoman 67. And then we're throwing in an autograph by Adam Hughes and Will Pfeiffer. Got the signatures down there. $8 free shipping. Nice. So a nice Adam Hughes lot. $8 free shipping um, with a signature from Adam Hughes and Will Pfeiffer. And you got a hard to find Dr. Manhattan. Not sure if he's completely nude in this one. Well, <laughs> was a lot of what's out there right now. <laughs> you, get the blue, you get the blue dong on the uh, on the Blu-ray, so you know. Oh, I'll check though, because now I'm curious. <laughs> so eight dollars to uh, nice cover, bro. Shocker there. <laughs> you guys got like this deal going tonight. Yeah, I, like I should have just emailed. I'm like, yo, <laughs> I got some books for sale. Here's what we're gonna do. Uh, <laughs> no more wings. Everyone kind of wanged out lately. <laughs> oh, Doctor Manhattan is fully clothed. Sorry. Batman uh, Wang. Cover, bro, if you don't want to buy it now, I completely understand. I'm like one of the only people that didn't buy that book. <laughs> I'm, I'm with you there, Legend. I didn't even know it was a thing, man. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> the original Damned, you're absolutely right. <laughs> yeah, you know, The Damned by Oni Press is such a better series by Colin Bunn, of course, and uh, Brian Hurt. All right. But so I heard the art was good, though. I'm going to start the timer here. Two minutes for um, the Adam Hughes lot, $8. Right now, as to, uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> nice cover, bro. Yes, nice cover, bro. What the hell? <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> and the Catwoman 54, signed by Adam Hughes and Will Pfeiffer. That's a pretty good deal. I always like wish, I mean, I know Adam Hughes is clever, his signature, but I wish it was more than that. You know, I don't know. I mean, I sign everything with my initials, but my initials are BS, so I kind of have fun with it. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, true story. Uh, I had a supervisor try to write me up one time, and I I signed it BS, and they got mad at me. I was like, no, 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 no. like those are my initials. That's how I sign everything. <laughs> Took him a second. I don't know if you can guess what my initials are. Ass. <laughs> <laughs> BJ. <laughs> So close. <laughs> JP. <laughs> I get people that call me PJ a lot. And I'm like, yeah, whatever. You're in the ballpark. <laughs> in the ballpark. <laughs> Mine's Bam. So I got payment from the PMC. Thank you for the quick payment via PayPal, friends and family. Also, thank you, Roman. I got your payment as well. It just came through. <laughs> Tacoma, you win a prize. You got my name right. <laughs> Looks like that says, ah. Oh. Someone's scared. A-H. Ah. Oh. <laughs> All right. Looks like, I have, this <laughs> looks like I have the, you're going to be winning this auction as well. This does not have the COA, just so you know. It's pretty distinct with his ah, though. Yeah. If you've seen enough of his signatures, it doesn't change. Like, it's really distinct. <laughs> I want to know how they verify that signature. Like, if you send it. <laughs> Come in. I know, right? I was like, oh, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> All right. Well, the timer is going off. There are no more bids. So the winner, winner, chicken dinner goes to Nice Cover Bro. Nice Cover Bro. Thank you, sir. Bro. Bro. All right. Angel, you ready? Yep. Yep. He's so enthusiastic. 
<laughs> yep. All right, let me get you highlighted there in your bro tank. All right, I've got a red Sonya lot, uh, different artist. So I have a uh, Gabriel Delato. I have Adam Hughes. Lucio Perillo. And of course, Mr. Campbell. So we'll start this off at a dollar and seven dollar ship. See where we go. How much more shipping? Seven. Seven dollar shipping, I selling bids a dollar? Yep. And That's if it gets up to. Ones. If it gets up to 15, I'll just start throwing in books and see where we go. Get it to 15, he'll throw it, start throwing in some shit. Look at them <laughs> red sonians. Yeah, that one's awesome. I love this one. It's badass. Heard they come out with a movie about her, which would be awesome. Yeah, they did. It had old Rocky's uh, ex-wife. Was it Bridget Nielsen? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that, that movie was so old amazing school. in my brain as a kid, and I rewatched it a few years ago. That movie's terrible. <laughs> that movie's uh -huh. terrible. <laughs> old school Schwarzenegger. Uh oh, poor man's comic went straight for the fifteen. Man, show me the shit. He All says. Right, so I got some, uh, Oh, was that Perillo? There, someone wanted Perillo. I think that's your Perillo. Yeah, that's Perillo. Did Poor Man Comic get paid on Wednesday? <laughs> Maybe. And every five dollars, I'll just keep throwing stuff in there, and we'll see, like again, where it goes. Fifteen dollars to JD. That's a really nice Perillo cover, man. Yeah, he does some good work on Vampirella. I can't wait till I get my Perilla remark back. Well, I hope it was better than mine. Was What'd you get? I got one on the uh, Red Goblin he did. Wow. And he, for some reason, did the Incredible Hulk. I was like, what? That makes no sense. Well, I thankfully got to choose my remark. Oh, uh, well. I did the... Uh... Batman 50 Joker cover with uh, <laughs> uh, the Damian Wayne Robin remark. Yeah, it's it's crazy. That's a great little lot there, though, man. If you guys are uh, we're at sixteen dollars right now to JD. Four more gets another book. Archangel loves some Taco Bell. <laughs> 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 17. Nice cover, bro. You guys just go for 20. He'll throw in another book. Did I miss comics misexplained? Yes, I did. What's up, Jason? Uh, I'll just throw in another book anyway. Oh, there you go. $20 right there. JD. Uh, what I'll you got there? Oh, that's the Perillo one I was just talking about. Yeah. Very nice. So we're at 20. He threw in, how many did you just throw in? Two? Two. That one. Yeah. And the Only in Texas do you find this kind of generosity, folks. I just want you to know that. Here <laughs> in Texas, we're all about giving the shit away. What that's issue right. is that Joker one? Uh, This one? That's Batman 50. Oh, really? Yeah. That's cool. I haven't seen that. I like that. It was a, a store exclusive to something, wasn't it? Uh, I think it was um, maybe Unknown Comics. 23 to JD. We got a old-fashioned uh, shootout here between a poor man's comics and JD. 25 will get you this one. Oh, 25 gets you another Vampirella. Who did that cover? Ali Garza? Yeah. I don't know. It's a comic elite exclusive. 
All right, 25. She's in there. 25. Poor man's comic. There you go. So the timer has gone off, but we still got a shootout going here between JD and Poor Man. So uh, unless you're going to fold JD right now, it's Poor Man's Comics at 25. 30 will get you some boobs. <laughs> <laughs> 30 doesn't get me boobs. Starts. Well, I guess it depends on which strip club you go to. <laughs> Apparently, you yeah. Do. You're going to the high class ones. I've yeah. never, I've never been to one. You guys will have to uh, change that this year. What? We got Van Prilla. Got 37 watching right now. I know some of y'all are really liking those boobs, man. Let's get <laughs> it on here. Thirty get you some boobs. Bold from JD. So poor man's comics at 25. Congratulations. Poor man. All right, so I guess it's back to me. First, Legend, do you have anything else you want to sell? I'll, I'll let you catch up with us. If you're talking, your sound's gone. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> Check this out. Brand new in the shrink wrap, Injustice, um, Injustice 2. Ooh. Volume two, you got a cool black canary and green arrow on the cover, and this has issues um seven through 12 and number 14. I guess issue 13 was sucky or something, but <laughs> very awesome. Still sealed like a moron. Ordered two of these. Retail this book is $24.99 and $24.99 for this thin little hardcover, but it could be yours $10 plus four dollars shipping for Jason Smith style shipping on this book <laughs> so what's it gonna be do we have ten dollar bid brand new in the shrink wrap if you've never read injustice 2 or injustice or any of the stuff tom taylor's done phenomenal series this takes uh place during either is it before i haven't started reading these yet but i believe it takes place before the injustice 2 video game uh comes out so very cool book uh it's going on in singles currently right now in the uh, DC, uh, you know, comic universe or whatnot or whatever you call it. But anyways, $10, $4 shipping. It is a great series, man. Who that told me about the Injustice series back in the day. So um, very cool book. I know, I know it's kind of weird to get like volume two, you know, if you don't have volume one, but if you're one of the 38 what do we got watch we got 39 people watching if you're one of the 39 that have volume one we'll pick up volume two again if you're watching this on the rewind ten dollars four dollars shipping let me know if we don't get no bids the next time we'll you know let me know over email if you're interested but the next time you'll see this one is on legends live auction on october 6th at 9 p.m central standard time 10 eastern over on the great lead show and remember people if you're not interested put pass you know down put you know type in pass and we can move on this is tom taylor's uh, injustice 2 this is volume 2 hardcover 24.99 msrp but <clears throat> the gls here 10 bucks four dollars media mail ship so let's go ahead and move on jp but yeah, let me know if y'all are interested, and I'll put this back up on my my auction probably. All right. Well, we're gonna send it back to me. I have a uh, a nice little lot I put together. Actually, you know what? I got two little lots, but I want to go back to this one first. This one I did with the legend in mind, just because I know how much he loves he loves Fantastic Four. <laughs> yeah, they're awesome. So this little this little lot's a three book lot. You're gonna get uh, the beautiful Weapon H number six, the uh, J. Scott Campbell Invisible Woman with the uh, the cutout chest of, chest display there. <laughs> you guys haven't seen that? It's really really nice. Um, I'm sorry. Um, we're gonna get uh, Tony Stark Iron Man number three, the Adam Hughes variant. 
Very nice. And then the third book of this lot is going to be the Fantastic Four number one Alex Ross variant. So we're going to start this off at $10 with $5 shipping, which um, is super cheap. <laughs> this this book here alone is like, was it the one in 50 or one in whatever it was? Uh, pretty difficult to get anyways. Yeah, that, that one's one in 50. That was a hard one to find. Um, anyways, so start this off $10 opening bid for these three books, $5 shipping. If you love beautiful variants, I'm in the business of beautiful variants tonight. $10 to Wolf Blitz. We'll get that timer started right now. Yeah, the Alex Ross alone, man. If you guys are into this, this is a really nice cover. That dude, I don't I don't know how in the world. I still feel like he's one of the most underappreciated artists in our little community. You know. So taking it back to the mid-90s, that dude was damn hotter than damn flies on hot poop on a summer's day. <laughs> <laughs> so kind of like Perillo is now. <laughs> yeah. It's so interesting. But this is a beautiful J. Scott Campbell. Um, let's see. What ratio was the virgin on that cover? I don't know. 22, 23 fames. You have to go higher than 10. Wolf Blitz has already bid 10. And then you got the Adam Hughes cover as well. So all three books. We're right now we're at ten dollars to Wolf Blitz with five dollars shipping. Let the games begin. I need some music playing in the background, man. Sneak, sneak, sneak. For 23 fames, you got it. You want to go higher than ten dollars to uh go with Blitz, what's up? Come on, people. Alex Ross, man. Yeah, we got Alex Ross, J. Scott Campbell, and Adam Hughes right here. Three of the best. Three of the legends. Well, they call this the uh the comic trinity. <laughs> yeah, man. Might be the steal of the night here. We got about one minute to go. That's right, twenty three fret twenty three fames. You can you can bid eleven dollars, but you got to bid because Wolf Blitz is already at ten. Indeed. <laughs> yeah, Comics Miss Explain, that's what it's like, isn't it? Just torturing yourself, looking at all these books. Steve Woodard pops in out of nowhere with an $11 bid. There he is. I thought that guy was going to be selling tonight. He said, screw that, I'm coming to buy. $12 to Wolf Blitz. The wood is hard than that. <laughs> we got the, <laughs> the, wolf, the wolf in the wood. <laughs> yeah, wolf in the wood. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's a full moon tonight. Dogs are in a heat. <laughs> <laughs> Brian Space Boy, I haven't seen you around. How you been, man? <laughs> Brian, you need to get your Xbox back and we can sell them C's together. All right, well, the timer's up, so it's really down to Wolf Blitz and Seawater. Yep, Seawater just came in with a 15, so it's anyone's game. Until somebody folds between those two gentlemen. <laughs> so we got Wolf Blitz. You wanna you wanna up on the up on the wood? Do you wanna get on that wood? <laughs> <laughs> oh there he is. He went eighteen dollars. So what do you got for that, C Woodard? <laughs> <laughs> I'll see some older books man I wish I had older books I really never really got into the older books so my generation is all <laughs> wooden wang that's right 19 to see Woodard 
We're going to have ourselves a standoff here between the wolf and the wood. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> mm. Woodard, nineteen dollar. Yeah, he had to match his namesake there, didn't he? Oh yeah, PMC. My mic must have been muted. I did get your payment. Thank you so much, my friend. Think about when the uh, MCU brings back the uh, Fantastic Four. How many? Oh, woof, let's fold. So, see, Woodard, you are the winner, sir. Yeah, they're going to make some money off them Fantastic Four. Man, they do it right. They're going to do it well. That's going to make bank. Mm -hmm. All right. Congratulations, Seawood. I got you down for 19 plus $5 shipping. My PayPal address is in the uh, description of this show. So next up is going to be back to you, Mr. Brandon Stowinski, whenever you're ready, sir. All right. So we got some... I don't know. I think they were spec books at one point in time, but I'm going to put them up just and see what happens. $8 free shipping. We have Quasar number 30. This is the one where you see Thor as Venom, so I guess it's credited as like the first Venomized cover, or what would be. Um, Marvel Knights 2001 Millennial Visions. This is the cover where you see the Punisher with the uh, Ghost Rider skull. <clears throat> Interesting. Then you have Exiles 86. This is the one where you see uh, a Hawk and Wolverine hybrid. It's like Weapon H. And then the Secret War Secret Wars Battle World with a Hawk Wolverine hybrid. These both of these predate um, Holy Awesome Hawk 22. So Quasar 30, Marvel Knights, Exiles 86, and Secret Battle World 3. You know, next month, though, Johnny Cates is bringing back the Marvel Knights, so don't tell him what that, uh, <laughs> he might tie into that stuff. So what's, what's the opening, what's your opening bid? $8 free shipping. $8 free shipping. That is the Brandon Stowinski special, folks. And uh, nice cover, bro. Said he should be all paid up with you. Yeah, he is. Okay. Yep. So eight dollars, free shipping. Bit away, JD. There you go. Sorry, poor man's comic. JD got in just a little before you. Comic book champ. Same for you. So uh, you guys have to go a little higher than eight. Right now, it's to JD at eight. $10 comic book champ. There you go. You got uh, like 42 viewers right now, so I appreciate that, guys. Nice. Where's our 30? I don't know if you guys can even see v the Venomite store right there. Yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah. That's crazy. You got yeah, all kinds of interesting books. So, not exactly the first Cosmic Ghost Rider, but first image of Punisher Ghost Rider. Exiles 86. Man, I have, we could go for a couple more hours. I have so many books. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I have, I could do that as well, but no. <laughs> It's like that's a negative ghost writer. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Eleven dollars. Poor man's comics. There we go. We'll do like a Black Friday special. We'll do like a three hour. <laughs> oh man. I'll save that for our Halloween party we're gonna have on here. Well that'll be fun. Twelve dollars, comic book champ. Thank you, Seawater. That was fast. <laughs> Appreciate it, bud. 
This one, this Marvel Knights, this the, this one does have a couple spine ticks. Two, two color breaking ones. Thirteen poor man's comics. That's the worst one. <laughs> Comic Spectre said, "Did someone say three more hours?" Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> I think my brain would explode. All right, so right now it's down between a poor man's comic at thirteen and uh, comic book champ at twelve. We got we'll give it thirty more seconds, and then we'll go into overtime. Time flies on these auctions, don't they, Legend? Actually, no, they don't, man. <laughs> They're too <laughs> damn long. <laughs> I like these short ones, though. I mean, yeah, I dig these, man. Them other ones, them, them the great legend show ones, them damn things are four hours. My back pain, everything. <laughs> yeah, it's way too many people. Way too many people. Yeah, yeah. we need to start doing VIP, you know, or like uh, yeah. paid pay entry, paid entry. Yes, there you <laughs> go. <laughs> Hey, we're up to 47 viewers, man. That's going to be a record for an uh, auction for JP, that's for sure. That's on awesome, a Wednesday. <laughs> on a Wednesday night auction, man. You know, <laughs> I got another burrito I'm eating on somewhere around here. All right, so uh, what do we got? Comic Champ Fold, so that makes the winner a poor man's comic at $13 with free shipping. Catch that, Brandon? Yep, free shipping. No, he, he, it's over. You got a winner. <laughs> oh, right on. <laughs> you got one? Uh, a poor man's comics one for $13. Knight of Konshu. Hello. That's a cool name. I don't think I've ever seen them in, in an auction before, but hey, I like the name. All right. You got anything else you want to do, Legend? I go. Oh, actually, it's uh, Archangel's turn. My bad. Sorry. <laughs> a little out of control. I don't know how to handle auction night without beer. So I got this water. It's keeping me crazy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm gonna buy it now. If you guys are interested, eight five, BA twelve, uh, three fifteen shipped. Don't know if anybody wants it. Um, if you are, hit me up. Let me know. Last sold was three sixty. So. A little bit off. What was the buy now on that? Three fifteen shipped. Three fifteen. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Young Kang, it is it is water. I only drink on Thursday nights. Uh, I'm gonna start this off at a dollar, and again we'll see where it goes. <laughs> and shipping is how much? Shipping is seven, unless you bought from me before then it's free so i just do that to cover priority flat rate envelope oh, i understand so one dollar opening bid seven dollars shipping um who did that cover uh this is mark brooks yeah 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 the mark brooks cover yeah all right so one dollar opening bid to wolf blitz there you go We'll say if it gets to 10, we'll start throwing in books. All right. Kang, Youngster Kang, $2, $2. Hope Service, you're just just late on both of those bids, so I apologize. But uh, Youngster Kang has got it at $2 right now. Um, he said he'll start adding books at $10. Well, maybe he was talking to the legend of his burrito. I don't know. Yeah, who that went ten dollars? There you go. I was throwing another beautiful Van Burrell cover. Sorry, Brandon, <laughs> you're a little bit late. <laughs> All right, so you got uh, ten dollars, and you throw in a Van Perilla. Yep. And at fifteen, we'll just keep going. I usually end up making a little money and just putting it right back in the auction. <laughs> Heck yeah. Uh, Young Kang is at eleven dollars. Poor Man Comics needs Brandon Swinski's email. Let me put it in there for you quick. Appreciate it. 
Mm -hmm. I can spell. It's check.yes2012 at gmail.com. Really want to get crazy. If you want to, somebody wants to throw in 30, I'll throw in this Mayhew Venom. Oh, thank you, Legend. All right, so what are we up to? We're still at uh, $11. I remember that Brandon Stowinski's email. He's a pretty awesome guy. He's all right. Where's Pope Grabby? He couldn't make it this night. He was uh, got a lot going on his plate right now. Mm, old Popester. How much, or how much to throw in that other cover? Thirty. That's like a sixty-dollar book. Yeah. Pope Cerberus, Pope Cerberus is doing thirty. All right, Pope, you got it. Thirty. So right now we're thirty dollars to Pope service with about a minute to go. And don't forget that buy it now. He's got up there too for three fifteen. You get the eight point five uh, Batman Adventures uh, number twelve mm. first appearance of Harley Quinzel. And if you crack it open and get this corner pressed, you probably get it up to nine nine two. Mm. Oh, that's awesome. JLS Comics, you have a book for me? I sent you my address once, like a long time ago, when you first did that uh, contest. Pope Cerebus, the West Coast Pope. <laughs> or West Coast Pop. I don't know, that was Rey Mysterio's, one of his finishing moves. You should change Pope Cerebus, should change your name to West Coast Pope. I like it. Hmm. All right, guys, so we're going into overtime right now. you got Pope Cerebus at 30, and then uh, second will be Youngsta Kang. Do you see 31? you got 31. Do I hit 31? <laughs> Brandon Skowinski just went blue light special. Um, Jesse, if you, wanna, if you want, you can email me. Um, my email is in the description, and I will send you my address. Or just put your email address, and I can uh, – is it just jlscomics.com? <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I'm terrible. It's been so long. I probably sent it through my Gmail account, to be honest. Wolf, the uh, Batman 12 is 315 shipped. Last one sold was 360. That's for an 8.5. Crack it open. Get it pressed. Get you another 9.2, possibly. Possibly. That corner is damn easy. All right, so right now it's still thirty bucks holding on Pope Service. Can I, can they get a fold or a thirty-one from the Youngsta Kang? Come on. Hold on. <laughs> I'll probably do uh, maybe one more, maybe two more rounds, depending on how you guys are feeling tonight. That sounds good. <laughs> good. <laughs> Uh, burritos, you brand. <laughs> you were right, man. I shouldn't have went to that Taco Bell. All right, Angel knows it. Montezuma's Revenge is coming. <laughs> it's gonna it's hit me hard. Yeah. <laughs> Thirty dollars. Pope Cerebus wins that round. Nice, thanks, man. So cool, great books, man. Some good pickups. And uh, before we go on to Legend, I'm gonna have you up next. But first, I want a quick reminder for those who haven't been here all night. I do have two slab books. We got the Zombie Tramp Collector's Edition 9.4 signed, signed by Dan Mendoza. That's uh, you know CBCS. Thirty bucks on the Mendoza and twenty five on the Greg Horn Emma Frost number one, also a nine point four. So if anyone's interested in that, hit me up, email me, put it in the chat, whatever. Shipping is thirteen sixty five for one book. Or for both, if you want to buy both for uh, a nice 55 bucks. Uh, what, what was that Masters of the Universe? Was it 18 or 17? Uh, 17? 18. Oh, damn. 18. I still can't find I know I've got a copy of that, but I just can't find it. 
But I got one copy that was gifted to me by my buddy Pope Grammy. You mean you finally got it? Oh yeah, he got me one. Damn, awesome! Congrats, man. <laughs> oh, it's been a long time coming, man. It has, man. That's uh, I've been working on that whole run, but you know that was obviously the, the it is number eighteen. All right, right, right here. Why, well, mate? You, you like Masters of the Universe? I do. I may have to show you a couple. You got some uh, variants. Yeah. Um, one has a, a a minor, minor like spine tick, but you know I think it gets pressed. I think it gets a nine six. I don't know if it'd get a nine point eight. This is the um, variant for <clears throat> He Man Masters of the Universe um, issue one. Oh yeah, that's it's the that, one. Right there. That's Skeletor. Now, if Skeletor don't tickle your pickle, maybe this girl will. You said you like Shira. Oh, do you have the damn thing? Terry Dodson? Oh. That, that thing is stunning. I've had this in the collection for the longest damn, I guess since 2013. But this bad boy here, there ain't no spine tick on it, man. That's such a beautiful book, man. I saw someone looking for that on Instagram today. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, Manny, if you're watching, baby, <laughs> this ain't for sale, sucker. <laughs> Oh, man. I'm going to get these graded, both of these graded, and then uh, I don't know if I'll sell them, but I'll have them just in case I need to sell for cash. But oh, I do yeah. have my last items to sell. It's a two for one starting bit. It's two slabs, and I know everyone loves to slab it all night long, but we got two <laughs> slabs here, and it's one of my favorite characters. I've got multiple copies of this book in raw and in slabbed, but. They're both nine eights. You get cover A, you get cover B, and for forty dollars starting bid, free shipping across the board. I know Brandon Stawinski loves it. New Superman nine point eight, and y'all know the nine eights, man. They're hard to find. And not only do you get cover A, you get cover B, man. And I love the cover Bs of all the new Superman comics. I mean, these are so damn good, man. I just, what a great series. You get two books, $40 uh, starting bid, free shipping. So let me know. Nine eights, dude. Nine eights, glorious CGC, shiny cases, real thick. I mean, you could split someone's skull if you hit them in the head like this with it. And they're in little Mylar bags or, you know, so $50. All right, Comic Spectre, $50 starting bid or starting, you know, he laid it down. Thank you for that, you know, Comic Spectre, because shipping will cost about 13 or 14 on these. But Comic Spectre is the high bidder. Let's see, JP, you got the timer going, right? <clears throat> Started right now. I was letting you finish talking. Yeah, man. So awesome. Just great books. I mean, great story. Um, so if you're a collector of slabs or a collector of 9.8s, you definitely got to have the first appearance of old Kong Keenan, Keenan Kong, whatever <laughs> name, whatever first or last name you want to put. You know how like it's Yao Ming in the U.S., but over in over in Japan, it's uh, Ming Yao. Sure. So awesome. Kong Keenan, baby. Y'all love the guy. He's cool. Fifty dollars. So, do we see fifty-one? Anyone want to go fifty-one on new freaking Superman coming at you live tonight from All About Comics Auction Live? <laughs> I love you. Pay, you you love. put five thousand on here, and I'll throw in a couple of uh, five thousand bucks. I'll throw in a couple of variants. <laughs> You know, do you know what this is, JP, on on eBay right now? And now I know I shouldn't say eBay a lot on these auctions because it's annoying as hell. But this freaking book is like forty five hundred in a nine eight, forty five hundred effing dollars. And I didn't even see the Shira on there. I, the Shira is just some rare ass stuff. But no telling what it goes for. But it's insane. Yeah. Uh. Actually, no, not sold, but for sale. I haven't checked the sold list. <laughs> But I tell you what, Masters of the Universe variants, they're crazy. Oh, yeah. They are hard to find. And, and I that was the thing when DC started that series, that Masters of the Universe series, it was just, they just didn't send a lot to the stores. You know, I guess they didn't think, oh, no one's going to like this crap. It was 80s cartoons and 80s toys, you know. 
But anyway, Comic Spectre, man. I, I don't know. I think Comic Spectre's walking away with this one. I think he's got the steal of the night. All right, man. Thank you so much, Comic Spectre. What I'm going to do is I'll put my email, Comic Spectre, in the uh, chat. And just please pay uh, PayPal friends and family. I mean, most of these dudes know me on here. I'm, I'm legit. You know, I don't be like, you know, pocketing the money and not sending nothing and stuff. <laughs> That's I'd be messed up. All right. Thanks, JP. Awesome. You're, you're welcome. All right. Well, I got, um, let's see, whose turn is it? Is it my turn? Is it back to me? I think so. Yes. All right. I'm yes, just going so. along for the ride. <laughs> you're along for the ride. I got one more lot tonight, folks. So, says the 9.8 Shira sold for $600. Damn, that's insane. See, I need to, I'm pretty, I didn't see any imperfections on the book, but I would probably just like get it compressed anyway. Yeah. Just play it safe, you know. Well, for a book like that, you don't see them too often. So, get it pressed in house by, you know, how I roll with it. I got to go CBCS and wait a year. <laughs> but it's just so close, JP. I mean, hell, we could drive down there to drop them off now. So, TJ Watson making an appearance said the Shira recently sold for two hundred and seventeen dollars as well. And Damn, that's next, a great deal. And then next Christmas you can go pick them up. That's right. I know, right? I know. <laughs> you know me though. I, I don't. Now, if I'm selling though, you know, I probably fast track it with CG. Like if I, but I don't know. I, I, I got the whole run of those, you know, and I'm kind of like. JP, I'm like you, man. Like you get, you want your run, and you don't want to give any of the variants away. I mean, Fantastic Four, same thing. I, I do want to try to get every variant I can, you know. So this, uh, so these CBCS that I sent in, I sent them in April, and I got them back last week. Jesus, April. Uh, <laughs> just being honest, it's like I mean, I know they're working through their stuff, and I watched uh, New York Warriors. They had Steve Bork on, you know, last week. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I mean, you got to understand with the move and everything. It's gonna, I mean, it's gonna take some time. I and mean, you can't just grab people off the street to grade books, man. We wouldn't want that as customers, and they don't want that as as business owners. So hey, we don't Holy want no guy to be grading in his house, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> we're all graders in our house. All right, so I got this little lot here. This is gonna be a lovely Jenny Frisson lot for those out there that love Jenny Frisson. I love Jenny Frisson. I love saying Jenny Frisson's name. <laughs> I like that name too. All right, so we'll start out with uh, Vampirilla number one. Very lovely, very lovely. You got uh, Vampirilla number two. Very, she's a very distinct style, right? So if you know uh, Jenny Frisson, yeah. you know her from Wonder Woman. You got uh, Vampirilla number six here with the uh, bloody crying eyes. You got Vampirilla number eight, which is actually my favorite of her covers. Very striking. He's got the original price tag on there. All right. Vampirilla number 13. This is back when uh, she was auditioning to be a ninja with the throwing stars. Also got the uh, connecting cover, Black Panther covers that she did. You know, you got uh, Black Panther. Black Panther. Double. In. And then we get into the good stuff. The stuff that everyone knows and loves. You got uh, Sword of Sorrow. Got some Vampirilla, Red Sonia, and I can't remember that chick's name. Then you got the Incentive variant for Red Sonia number three, which is the black and white Incentive, Retailer Incentive, Jenny Frisson. Uh, Red Sonia number six. Very, very beautiful cover. Pull the red sword out of the teeth. <laughs> Number 16. I'm going to start this lot off at $10 with $5 shipping. If you get it, up to, uh, get it up to 25 I got something for you. So we'll start the timer here, folks. $10 opening bid, $5 shipping. Let the games begin. Thank you, Cameron Figures. That's who I assumed it was, but I didn't want to ruin the name. Deja Thoris was the third chick on the Sword of Sorrow. We get an opening bid of $10 or $25, and I'll throw in the beautiful, astonishing Ant-Man number 10 variant. $10 to Wolf Blitz. 
Thank you, sir. And thank you so much to uh, <clears throat> the Spectre, Comic Spectre, Jim Corrigan. Thank you, Comic Spectre. Got paid. Get these out to you, brother. Damn, I love it. JP got a damn good auction tonight. <laughs> Do we ship to South Korea? Did Jesse, I don't. Did Jesse move to South Korea? <laughs> Is that what happened? Uh, from Florida to South Korea? <laughs> He's like, Florida's way too hot. <laughs> Gotta get out. All right. Youngster King, you up to $12. Mr. D, I'm not sure what your question is. Uh oh, we got a $25? $25 to OMG Chris. Is that your bid? Because if that's your bid, I'm throwing in this astonishing Ant Man, oh, number 10. That's such a beautiful cover. It is a beautiful cover. And it took me forever to find it. So I hate to part ways with it. But right. such as. <laughs> it's like a $20 book by itself. Well, that's great. Maybe these people will bid this thing up to a hundred dollars and call it good. Yeah, woohoo! <laughs> I'm still confused by Chris's. Is, is that a bid? Is like I'm Ron Burgundy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, twenty eight dollars oh, we'll blitz, no matter. matter. So we'll, we'll go there. So got about a minute to go, folks. Uh, I guess. Oh. Ready. He was serious. All right. Thank you, OMG Chris. $30 to Chris. 28 to Wolf Blitz. Youngster Kang is out of it, so it's between Wolf Blitz and OMG Chris. Who wants this lovely lot the most? Looks like OMG yes, Chris at 30. He does. He is there at 30. So we're going to head into overtime here with uh, OMG Chris at 30. Wolf Blitz, oh, he just beat 32. So beautiful lot. Jenny Frizzing Goodness. And if you guys want to get uh, get it up to uh, yeah, 35, I'll throw in this uh, beautiful ghost cover by Jenny Frizzen. You guys like some ghosts? What we got here ghost number seven. I'll put that in the since we're at 35 already, I'll go ahead and add this to the lot, guys. So if you collect any frizzing, you'll know some of these are tougher to find. This is all almost all white cover, very, very, very sharp. Everything looks beautiful. Get it. Do 40. I got some more Jenny Frizzin I can add. I got uh, I got some Xena Warrior Princess Virgin Covers. Mm -hmm. I got uh, some of her older stuff, The Witching Hour, which is a really cool book. Or maybe you don't want Jenny Frizzin in. I can throw in a uh, Bill Sienkiewicz Dazzler cover for you. So we're still at 35 to OMG Chris, 36 to Wolf Blitz. All right. That is good. So you get to 40, I'll throw in another Jenny Frizzin cover. What's the Virgin there, one? Chris at 40. Oh. 40. There you go. I'm on. You want the, uh, I'll let you pick. You got the, the Virgin Xena Warrior Princess or the Witching Hour. This is the uh, Xena. Whoa, oh, that's a that's cool one. Nice. No, that's that very nice. I'll let you pick either this one or the Witching Hour at the forty dollar mark. Man, that's a good cover too. <clears throat> Nine love tales, divine horror. Got to go with the Zeno. Yeah, got to go. With Zeno, though. Pretty sweet. Good lord, I may bid on that. <laughs> for that. <laughs> that crazy. Yeah, the the, <laughs> yeah. the Ginny Frizen Virgin covers are hard as hell to find in in any of them, whether it's Red Sonia or you know, especially stuff like Xena. You know, this wasn't ordered very much. All right. Um, I gotta go. Sorry. Where are you going? Oh, he's going oh, for yeah. 40. 
So I didn't know uh, if you but, had Montezuma's revenge uh, there. <laughs> no, that's, that's you. <laughs> Byron the hole. That That'll be me in a little bit. War of War, uh, Call of Duty in there. <laughs> all right. Well, Lucifer 41. Yeah. Oh, Chris went 50. Damn. It is a Damn. beautiful cover. And how often do you get to see a cover that white, man? All right, Chris, since you're 50, man, I'll let you uh, pick the next Ginny Frizen book to throw in on that mark. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. I got this awesome uh, hack slash cover. Ooh. Extremely nice horror cover. It's a virgin. It's not a virgin. Oh, got little letters on there. <laughs> yeah, it's bottom. Okay. <laughs> Getting a little virgin happy. <laughs> or you got. <laughs> you can have that witching hour book. <laughs> Jason, is the sword broken? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> this one, I'm going to let you pick one or the other. Also got this crazy uh, True Blood cover B of Jenny Frizen. Ooh. But a lot of people don't see some of this obscure stuff that she did. Yeah, I can't remember that red hair girl's name. That ain't no Suki, is it? <laughs> no. Bill Compton name. likes to say Suki. That's not Suki. Yeah. <laughs> that was a okay. classic show. Right now, we're at $50 to OMG Chris. Sorry, I got it. Okay. <laughs> if you want to Archangel, all right. Which one did you want to add in there? You got Hack Slash, The Witching Hour, or True Blood? I want Jessica. True Blood. Want Jessica? True yeah, Blood? that's her name, Jessica. Yeah, I knew that. I was, I was like, Jennifer? Jessica? What is it? Yeah, she's had a crush on, still have a crush on that girl from Daredevil. Oh, oh. yeah, okay. Yeah, she's, she's in Daredevil, yeah. Yeah, she's. You know, she's actually married to a blind guy, which is kind of cool. Damn. To a blind guy? Yeah. That sucks, man. He'll never get to appreciate her beauty. Oh, I'm sure he does. <laughs> like, that was pretty fucked up, JP. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, 51 to Archangel. This is why I don't like to sell books, because I sell books and then I just spend it. 55 to Chris. <laughs> All right, Chris, I'll let you pick <laughs> you're going to pick next. He hasn't picked one yet, you know? He's just like, I bid. I get what I get. <laughs> <laughs> so we got uh, <laughs> The Witching Hour. <laughs> if anyone's into that. I love this book, man. I think it's so freaking beautiful. Kill was there did, was there some good horror in there? Like good scary stuff? It's or from Virgo, one... man. I didn't get a chance to read it. It's Nine Tales of Divine Horror. It's a one-shot. And it's a prison oh. cover? Yes, sir. Damn. Yeah, you don't... I, I, I probably wouldn't read that. I'd read it online. I, I, I wouldn't F up no prison. <laughs> Leave that in the bag, man. Surprise you? All right. So 55. And Chris, I'll surprise you. Let's see here. That's With that so awesome good. art slab, gold slab behind JP. The Captain <laughs> Marvel. I love that. That's beautiful. Throw in that X-23 sketch behind you. Ooh. <laughs> that was from uh, the lovely Stacy Lee. If you guys remember her from the Silk series a few years ago, mm. I, don't think she's I remember it. Bruce Lee. <laughs> <laughs> that was her cousin. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna throw in the hack slash for you, Chris, because I love that cover. <laughs> so we're still between. Uh, <laughs> no one's folded yet, right? So you got 55 to Chris. <laughs> Angel, you're still in it? Yes, I'm debating. <laughs> Give me well, 20 seconds. Wolf Blitz is still in it. He hasn't folded. So uh, I do have, I just <laughs> found it. Let me see here. See if this piques your interest. <laughs> you have no idea how many prison books I have right here. So. Well. Pope owes me 62, so I may just have him send you the money. <laughs> <laughs> I did find another uh, Xena Virgin cover. Whoa. Uh, yeah. Dang. Go. 60. There it is. This was, I don't know, I don't know the Xena world very much, but. Uh, that was probably her, like Robin or something. That's her girlfriend, yeah. yeah. Ah. Of course, she would have a girlfriend. 
It's Xena. Right. I have so many things I could say right now, but I can't say it online. So just <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> Don't tempt me. <laughs> uh oh, OMG Chris. Final oh, bid. Final bid. 65. Holy shit. I double dog dare you. <laughs> he man haircut. Oh god. I have, what do you what do you double dog dare me? To say it. Oh, it explains why my ex wife collected Xena. Oh it's shit. Jesus. Hey <laughs> man. Hey, I'm oh, sorry for that. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> and that's for all you that do know the story. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty funny. All right, man. So I don't have any more version covers, but uh, Chris, I'll uh, pick you something awesome to put in there since you're sixty-five dollars. Uh, let's see here. I think uh, our Archangel over there is struggling. Yeah. Well, I can assure you there's no more Xena virgins. We'll let him have it. Let him have it. He's good. You're done? You're folding? Oh, I'm out. You're tapping out, Chris. It's yours, buddy. And I will uh, I will find something awesome to throw in there for you. Probably a few extra Jenny Frizen covers for you. Do you like the Wonder Woman run? Just tell me what you like, man. I got all kinds of Frizen. Hey, you got any Thor Frizen? I know OMG Chris loves Thor. I don't think he has done any Thor. Or I haven't seen her do any Thor. Mm. Do you like a uh, Red Sonia black and white? Another one? Wonder Woman for sure? Okay. I will. Uh... All right. So hey. I will. My PayPal is in the description. And uh, just just do the. Whatever your $65, I'll take care of the shipping then. Hey, could you put it on my screen? Yes, sir. My, bro my brother, Elijah. Elijah. Oh. This is for your daddy, but it ain't for sale. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. This is mine, baby. I love it. All right. Anyway, I'm sorry. I just had to show that to Elijah. I ain't seen Elijah lately. Oh, man. All right. Thank you so much, Chris. Uh, yeah, I'll surprise you with some good stuff, man. And uh, who's up next? Either one of the Brandons, you, Brandon Swinsky, you got any more to sell? He's like Need muting me. himself. I think I'm all I'm all tapped out. All right, I don't know if we got anybody that likes war books, but this is gonna be fifteen dollars free shipping. We got Sergeant Rock, three ninety three. We got. Let me make some room here. Three ninety-seven. Three ninety. A lot of these are Joe Kubert covers. Oh yeah, Sergeant Freaking Rock. Damn. Three eighty-nine. <laughs> if my dad was watching this, he'd be in the bed and on here. Three ninety-eight. <laughs> yeah, my dad loved reading that stuff. We got annual number four. Damn. GI Combat, another Joe Kubert. Right. This one's issue 266. We got 268. 274. 275. And then we have some Silver Age. Army Attacks. This is a 12 cent cover. These ones are all pretty beat up. Damn, those at Charlton? SJG? Or like, yeah, those look old school. 
Yeah, they are. These are from 50s, I believe. Mm. 60s. Here's a Cubert number 87 fighting for fighting forces. I'll be honest, I don't even know what I'm selling right now. I got these from a client. <laughs> Marines attack. So somebody could be getting a good deal. I don't know. Um, Somebody's tapping something, man. <laughs> They'll be like, is it worth anything? Um, that was me, sorry. These are them books, though, like my dad. These are the kind of stuff my dad read after he grew up a little bit. And he was like, oh, this Shazam, Captain Marvel stuff. This is too kiddish. He started reading like war comics. A lot, of the Navy. These, a lot of these were read during the war, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Damn, how much you want for those? 15 free shipping. Holy hell. <laughs> there you go. Oh, the legend with a bid of 15. Yeah, I'm just going to open it up. I mean, I'm not going to try to outbid anybody, but... um. If no, no one, if no one wants them, if no one wants them, I'll take them for fifteen. That's for damn sure. I'll just give them to my dad, let him read them, and then you know, your dad reads them. He yeah. he like he loves war. He read these growing up, like a lot of that stuff. GI Combat, Sergeant Rock, you know, uh, Minute War, Ghost Tank, uh, all kind of crap. That's a this damn good cover out there. Yeah, a lot of the a lot of the art's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. There. Yeah, these Sergeant Rock ones, these are from the mid 80s. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, hell, I know he hadn't read the 80s ones, but Joe Kubert, the guy that created Sergeant Rock, for him to still be doing that character in the 80s, that really says something about, you know, that character. Oh. You know, that DC was like, you know, we still got Joe Kubert along. Let's have him do some, you know, some more Sergeant Rock. Here's Course. our fighting forces. This is a Joe Kubert. This is probably some of his earlier work. Hmm. Yeah, let's see that bad boy. And the stables are all intact with all of these, too. Yeah, that's so awesome. 1964. So sweet. Silver Age right there. You can't beat that. 15 bucks. <laughs> Holy hell. I'm getting a Silver Age book for $15. That's, you know, but that's the thing. I mean, like some people, like, you know how um, our generation, I mean, like, shot up. I didn't, I don't I have some war comics but I mean like a lot of the kids in the 60s and 50s read a lot of that war stuff you know that mm -hmm. was their thing so before the Marvel age aka 1961 with old fantastic four I mean a lot of you know that was the well 1958 showcase for Barry Allen's first appearance that was the reemergence of superhero comics but you know in the 50s and stuff it was mainly all about true crime War stories, horror stories, weird science, romance, more realistic stories. Well, I think time's up. Yeah. Sorry, you, you people. Play short so you can get them. I'm just playing. Go ahead. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry all you people. But no, nah, thanks, Brandon. It'll be a gift for my dad. So I really appreciate yeah. it. So That's damn awesome. Check.yes2012 at gmail.com. Yep. Let's see what we got here. Oh, here we go. I got nothing else tonight. Legend got nothing else tonight. When you, uh, Angel or Brandon, you guys uh, want to go again? You have want... a little more time, and we'll be done. Time for you. Yeah. Okay. So I got uh, Spider Man three fifty nine, uh, three sixty, no three sixty one, but three sixty two, and three sixty three. Dollar start, seven shipping. All high grade books. These are really in the nines. They're really nice books. To the tits, guys. I mean, the nines. <laughs> All right. What was the opening bid? A dollar. Seven shipped. One dollar. Opening bid. Seven dollar shipping. Dewinsky is in at three. Five dollars to White Whale Comics. Sorry, Youngster King, you just came in after him on my end. Comic Spectre with ten. 
said, screw all this other stuff. <laughs> 13 to Stowinski. Stowinski Comics, I should say. <laughs> 14, oh, 15. 15 to Youngsta King. Youngsta. I like that name. Comic Spectre at sixteen, seven dollars shipping. Guess I better get the timer going here, folks. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> I always forget the timer. And I suck at the timer. <laughs> I kind of like these two-minute timers because <laughs> I got them war books. <laughs> Hell yeah! Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe no one else knew about them. Let's see, seven five zero. Oh, okay, here we go. No, I uh, I helped the client out, so he gave me like a box of comics that he just had stashed away in his garage for dirt cheap, just because I did a good job for him. So that's the way to do it, man. Making those relationships—that's what it's all about. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Whoa. Damn, Jennifer. <laughs> hey, hey, Jennifer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Brandon, I sent it. Hey, Brandon, Jennifer. Yeah. Jennifer. 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 Right. Wait. Youngster King is out, but uh, so we got a little her bit. name came up. I love it. So, Whitewell um, or Comic Spectre, it's kind of between you guys, unless Brandon Stowinski wants to come in here. We're going to. Going to overtime here in just about 30 seconds. And it's uh, Whitewell's Comics at 14, Comic Spectre at 16. Youngster King is out, and Brandon Stolinski is at 13. So if anyone's interested, wants to bid up, otherwise it's going to go home to Comic Spectre. Yes, oh, yeah. in the nines. Oh, yeah, nines. It's a really nice high-grade book. All right, there you go. 17 to White Whale Comics. So now it's uh, $20 to Comic Spectre. So we'll go until one of you guys folds between you two at this point, unless Brandon comes in out of nowhere. Good Not stuff. good. You're good. So it's between, between you guys. So it's one of your folds. $20 to Comic Spectre. Print the PayPal info after the last round. I don't know what that means. We see 21 from Whitewell. Do we see 21? Well, cardiac classic. Good old cardiac. Those are great books. I remember I bought all those off the, the rack, too. Those are really good ones. I like the Carnage stuff. Yeah, man. They were so good. Cletus Casty, He was a crazy one. You guys all right. Good. Whitewell Comics folds. So the winner for 20 bucks is Comic Spectre. Man, they pop in that Mylar, man. They do. They really do. The way that art was done back then, those vibrant mm -hmm. colors and the bold. Yeah. That's what Mylar was made for right there. The best. <laughs> 90s goodness. Yep. <laughs> All right, guys. So uh, I will go through. You need my PayPal info? From Archangel JP. Huh? I don't know what that means. Oh, he needs a, he needs your PayPal info. Oh, okay. Yeah, Cletus was pretty crazy. Like, for some reason, I always liked Carnage better than I did Venom. I don't know why, but that was just my thing. Because he's crazy. I like crazy. Because crazy wins every time. And that's why I like the Joker, folks. Because you can't rationale crazy. Now, we do want to show, uh, remind everyone, there's a couple Buy It Now books if you're interested. Um, 
Archangel has the uh, Batman Adventures 12, first appearance of Harley Quinn, 8.5 CGC, and uh, $315. Myself, I have a couple uh, CBCS 9.4 signature series. This is Dan Mendoza, Zombie Tramp Origins, number one. Collector's Edition, $30. Or Emma Frost, number one. Signed by Greg Horn, 9.4, signature series. $25, which is basically the price of the slab. So, let me know via email or in the chat tonight. Oh, sorry. What are you sorry for? Oh. Sorry for typing the wrong thing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I also have this hardcover here. It's the Injustice uh, 2, and it's Injustice 2, but it's Volume 2 of the series hardcover. $10, $4, $4 shipping if you want to do a little buy it now for this, or you know, we'll see it on the auction on uh, the 6th of uh, October on the Great Legend Show. All right, someone asked for the camera, so I'll show these one more time. Emma Frost, 25 bucks. Zombie Tram, 30 bucks. Shipping is thirteen sixty five each or together if you want both. So my email is in the description. Let me know if you're interested. Um, otherwise, I want to thank everyone who participated tonight. I want to thank you guys for coming on with us, Mr. Legend and Archangel, and of course, Brandon Stowinski. I always appreciate the support we have on these things. I don't do them very often, but I do appreciate it when we do have them. So... Um, that being said, tomorrow night, Comics and Cold Ones, Pope Grammy, and uh, Big E's from New York's Warriors will be joining us. So I look forward to that. Um, add a little East Coast love to the Southern Bruvs. So, uh, you know, there we go. But see you guys tomorrow night. And thanks for stopping in. Real quick. Yeah. Um, before I jump off, a poor man's comics you still have not paid, sir. So oh, you can just message. He just asked if you got the payment. Legend, uh, JLS Comics says he's interested in your upcoming auction. That is awesome. All right, Jesse, we'll get you down on that thing, my friend. No, um, a poor man. I have not received it yet. Make sure it's, it's check.yes2012 at gmail.com. And thank you, Legend, for paying. Appreciate that. You're very welcome. But other than that, I'm good. Thank you guys for tuning in, showing some love. Yeah, I'm going to type your email address one more time out there. Check dot yes twenty twelve at gmail. Oh, there you go. Legend beat me to it. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> no, no, man. I appreciate it. That's where uh, I don't know what happened to Miss Hustle. Where's our hustle at? She probably fell asleep or something. The email to buy the Emma Frost would be the email in the description. I'll put it quickly in the chat here. It's uh... Alright. Yeah, if you're interested, it's twenty five dollars plus shipping, which is thirteen sixty five. So make that thirty eight sixty five if you're interested. There's my PayPal. So if you do get it, make sure you put what it's for and your shipping address, please. Um, but anyways, thank you guys, and we'll talk to you later. See you guys tomorrow night. Bye.